So we're going to hit the hardwood here at Dearborn High. We've got Coach Kevin Barkov, Dearborn High varsity basketball, some of his guys. We're going to talk about the pick and roll and why it's so great. So let's get going. I'll first talk about offensively and what we try to accomplish um, as far as spreading the floor. And then, um, you know, what we're looking to do, we talk a lot with the ball handler as far as being patient. You know, once he has the ball, he's in triple threat situation. The defense, obviously you're playing against a man-to-man -man defense here, but what we're really trying to get them to do is, you know, recognize the fact that they have to guard guys one pass away. We talk about somebody going to the baseline corner mm -hmm. because what we want to try to do is as much as possible clear out the paint area, clear out the key, okay? okay? Triple threat position. Okay, go ahead and show that. Display that here. He's in a triple threat, meaning he's got three options to do. He's in to see the court so he could pass. He's also got his chance to dribble here, or he can shoot it from where he's at, okay? And he's a pretty good shooter here, so he's, he's in range right about where he's at now, so. For the young guys, so that this gentleman here, your teammate, doesn't get an offensive foul, any kind of movie thing. We always talk about the ball handler being patient. More often than not, he's gonna use that. He's gonna really try to go off his knee and try to stay as close to this body, this guy setting the screen as possible. Kind of show what you would do. Patient here, as he goes through, now he's got the option. The other thing in running this play, what we like to see and what he did there, that was you know one of the options, because he's got so many of them at his choice here, is sometimes you get a mismatch. Why do you guys practice? Why is it such a why is it such a great play? Well, and it always works. It is, it, and, and it is hard to defend. There's so many options that come off of it. And the other thing is, you'll see different coaches. Some coaches use it more than others. It's a talent level thing. I mean, and, and I think a lot of coaches. I know a lot of coaches that here in the city, um, and and you know the, the the league that we have. If you have certain players, then and you have certain skill levels like you know that I think we have here and in, in other schools you try to use them and, and let them shine within those skills. And the pick and roll is a great way to let them shine where you know they're good enough with their decision making and then let them make the play. That's one thing, the coach sometimes gets a lot of the credit, but the boys, there's so many options going through their heads that they have to make that instantaneous decision that, that makes us look good, but it's, it's the kids that are doing a lot of the work. This is something you'll see a lot in games too. Again, Jordan doesn't switch. And then he and just sticks with play. it. And again, that's where you're banking on what's the defense doing, how sound are they defensively, and, and then once I realize that, I react to it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if, if you get that run against you two or three times, the fourth time you say, hey, I'm not falling for this again, exactly. but you fall for a variation. Absolutely. Last time when he had the other mismatch, he went down to the basket, tried to get him the ball. This time he realized, hey, I want my good guard, who's faster than their big man, to go one-on-one, -on -one. so he flared away from it. If we had a smaller defender on Khalil on the switch here, we do this also, too, is, once we get it, we get a switch. Now you've got the bigger defender. Sometimes we'll clear that out and let our guard go against the big defender. So now he's got the big defender on him. He'll, what Khalil is taught to do there, and instead of going to the basket, he flared away from the basket, hopefully taking his defender with him. And that is it. Textbook. Coach, thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yep.